Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to The Crafting Bookworm. I have a rather large book haul for you. Okay, welcome back guys. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you to every one of you for subscribing, whether you're here for crafts or books. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. So this book haul is going to satisfy both crafting side and reader side. So um, what I mean by that is I got some books over here that just came today for um, repurposing and then books over here on this side for actually reading. So I think I'm going to start with the ones over here. It's a bunch of Reader's Digest. Um, Bobby over at Paginator Region Journals had cued me in on somebody selling uh, large lots of Reader's Digests. And I've been wanting them to repurpose. So I went right over there and got a lot of them. I got 12 books for $35. So that, I thought that was pretty good. I haven't even opened the box yet, so I'm going to do that first. Let's get going on this. See if we can get into this box. I'm really excited to see these. I've been trying to get Reader's Digest books for a while, and the last book haul that I did was actually Reader's Digest. I had gotten um, four of them. This is a much larger lot. Okay, so let's see what kind of shape they're in. All right. Sorry, guys, I could have probably already had that opened up. All right, let's get started. Oh, very nice. They wrapped these individually. We got, oh, let me just throw this down here. Lots of packaging paper. I can use that too. Okay, so it looks like there's two wrapped together. I can always use uh, the bubble wrap too for when I'm sending out journals. Okay, let's see what we got here for the first one. Ooh, this is very pretty. I see the paper. So here's the first one. Look at how good a shape these are in. And it's got, it's got a um, gold trim on the front and the back. How pretty is that? That's a pretty green one. Okay, and the second one. Again, very pretty. This one's got like a brown spine. These are in excellent condition. Goodness, oh, these have got gold foiling. Just on the top, though. That's odd. Just the top part's got gold foiling. Okay. I don't want this to be super long, you guys, but at this rate, it might be. bubble wrap here. That always comes in handy. Okay, the third one. Oh, look at this one. That is perfect for like uh, winter season. These almost seem brand new, you guys. Very happy with these. Was that first one? They had gold foil on the top? No. This one's got the gold foil on the top pages too, but just not everywhere else. That's kind of odd, but that's really pretty. Okay, I knew I wanted them because they had a wider array of, wow, this one's different. This one is completely blue. It's very textured on the front. These are just in really great shape. Very good shape. I'm not looking at all the copyrights right now, but... I will do that when I'm ready to repurpose. This one is double wrapped here with our okay. Well, I'm gonna have a mess to clean up after I'm done with this, huh? Oh, 
Oh, I really like this one. That one is beautiful. Just this one also has the gold trim on the front and back. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, I have the heart to repurpose these because they're in such great shape. Oh my goodness, another beautiful one. Look at this cover. How beautiful is that? Again, it's got the gold. If you guys, I don't know, is the camera even picking that up? This is Christmas, you guys. Christmas. Okay. Another beautiful one. These patterns on these. I've always loved Reader's Digest for that reason. Beautiful. Oh, I forgot this one. Oh, beautiful green. And this is kind of, it's an illusion. It looks blue in the camera, but it's actually black until the sun hits it. The light from the window and it makes it look blue. And it really is black. Look at this. Gorgeous. Beautiful. These are in fabulous shape. I can't get out over how good of shape these are in. The, the last four that I'd gotten, they weren't beat up by any means, but these just seem more brand new than... Now, I saw a purple cover in the picture. I haven't seen it. Oh, this one's really cute. Love. These are just in great shape, you guys. Beautiful. That one has the gold lines, too, running down the spine. This one looks like I... Nope. Looks like one of the other ones. This one's a little off. It's a little it's a little folded back as you can see here. It's going that direction a little bit. But I think it would be okay. Two more. Okay. This one's open right on the top. That's easy. Here's that one. Boy, those are trippy. That one's really trippy when you look at it. <laughs> These spines are beautiful. And for the last one, I guess I didn't get the purple one. Oh, this one's the same. That one's the same as the last one. I almost got all of them different. Okay, so that is for the crafting side, so um, I'm going to have fun with those. Okay, so I got all those in the box. Let's go to the reading side. Okay, so the first one we got here is The Women by Kristen Hanna. She is one of my favorite authors, and I think I've read just about every single book that she's written, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, this book is practically brand new. Let's see, I think it was $30 and I paid $15. Yeah. Look at the inside of that book, you guys. How gorgeous is that? Um, this one is apparently The Women Coming Home from the Vietnam War is what this story is about. So this one should be really good. The next one we got here is called Echo. I believe this is a, a YA or middle grade. This is by Pam Munoz Ryan. And I was really impressed with the cover of this. I thought it was beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And um, I'm actually considering reading this one. I just finished a middle grade book. It was Jack Blank and the Imagination, which ended up being a very, very good story. So um, 
This one has to do with magic and prophecy and a harmonica. So that one should be really good. The next one we got here is Homecoming by Kate Morton. This is another new book that came in. It was sitting there with the women. And look at that cover. I didn't read the synopsis of the, those two books. So I didn't really read the synopsis of any of these books. And then I got a pair of books here by Lucy Score. I don't have either one of these. Things We Hide from the Light and Things We Never Got Over. I've not read a Lucy Score book yet. I have like four of them on my shelf. And then I just got these two. So I need to read something by Lucy Score before I buy all the books and not like them. Next one we got here is The Hunting of Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. I read um, Stalking Jack the Ripper, and so I saw this one at the used bookstore and decided to pick this one up. I did enjoy Stalking Jack the Ripper, but I really, I really enjoy Carrie Maniscalco's writing, so that one should be good. These are all in a box, too, you guys. <laughs> um, this one is called Lightbringer by Claire Legend, or LeBrand, LeGrand? Claire LeGrand. This is to a trilogy my husband is reading. This is book three that he has not read yet. And they had it. Look at this copy, you guys. This is like pristine. Yeah, beautiful. And he was supposed to get this back in October. And he sat the book down in a different section. and completely forgot that he sat it there and walked out without it. And when we went there a few days back, they still had it. So we went ahead and grabbed it this time. This one was out on the sales rack for two bucks. It's called The Book of Fate by Brad Meltzer. Gives me Dan Brown vibes, and my husband loves that series, so we got this one for him. The next one we got here is called The Vermilion Emporium by Jamie Pacton. Again, my husband found this one and said it sounded really good, so we picked that one up. Oh, goodness. This one is called My Plain Jane. This says on here, um, she sees dead people, air that is. And this was on the sales rack for two bucks. So I decided to pick that one up. I liked the story Jane Eyre. Okay. Um, it was a pretty interesting story. And then we got Echoes and Empires by Morgan Rhodes. Also a book my husband found. That cover's really pretty. So we got that one for him. And one more that I got for me is Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. I have the first book. I have not read it yet. But they had this one, so I decided to pick this one up. Um, hopefully, I really, really like this. I think I believe it's a trilogy, so I'll let you know as soon as I read them. So, yeah, that is my book haul. I hope that satisfies both sides of my channel. Um, I'm really excited to receive these Reader's Digest. They're beautiful books in great condition. So thanks to Vet Shop on eBay that sold those to me. Um, and of course, all of these from the used bookstore are always in great shape. They take care, great care of the books that they take in. So that's it, guys. If you've read any of these books or you have a bunch of Reader's Digest that you're repurposing, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to chat about it. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.